Looking at exponential functions again, we've got this really basic one here. This time we're going to look at uh, what happens when we multiply the function by something, so this b here, and also when we multiply our x value by something. Now again, you've done this with function transformation before, so this is just the specific case of doing exponential. So if you take a whole function, say a to the kx, and multiply it by something, what happens, let's take a look, Okay, what's actually happening there is it's being stretched away from the x-axis. The larger the b value, the more stretched away from the x-axis. If I go to a number less than 1, it starts to push it closer and closer and closer to the x-axis. If I get to 0, if I multiply a whole function by 0, I just get a flat line. But then when b becomes negative, you can see that it flips it around. So in a nutshell, b will stretch it around the x-axis, it'll stretch it up for large values of b, and it will reflect it in the x-axis for negative values of b. You can see there, nice. There you go. Now, what about this k value here? Now, you should probably be able to pause the video and think for a minute, well, what haven't we done yet? This k value, if we multiply the x in a function by something, it will dilate it around the y-axis. And again, if we're doing something to the x-axis, it kind of does the opposite of what you'd expect. So as k increases, it moves it closer and closer and closer, squeezes it tighter and tighter and tighter around that y-axis. And if we stretch it back out, you can see as the k-value gets smaller, it gets further and further away, stretching further and further away from the x-axis. And What's actually happened here is a reflection around that y-axis. And this is something really special. It's called a decay curve. And you can see it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller and getting closer and closer and closer to zero, never ever touched. So that's what our k value does. And so there's our notes there. k is less than zero, it reflects in the y-axis and becomes a decay curve. All right, there are exponential functions. There are all the transformations we can do on it. It's the same transformation that will happen in any function.